In tonight's Medical Watch, fewer injections, less medications, and still a shot at a baby. A new procedure takes the sting out of IVF. For months, Megan and David Lee longed for a baby. They told us in vitro is going to be your only option. I knew there was a lot of shots involved, and I was not terribly looking forward to it. The couple met with fertility expert Dr. Randy Morris, who was testing a new procedure called in vitro maturization, or IVM. In Canada and overseas, IVM has had less success than traditional in vitro fertilization. Still, Megan and David were willing to give it a shot. We thought it was worth a try. They began trying three months ago. Just one shot to slightly boost Megan's normal egg production, not multiple injections of hormones. With standard IVF, a woman is first given injectable fertility medications for a week, week and a half or so to stimulate multiple eggs to mature inside the ovaries. The heavy dose of hormones can take a toll and are especially risky for younger patients with ovulation problems who may be more sensitive to the medications. Some of the patients that we've done are patients that were treated by other physicians, had to stop their cycles because they had a danger of hyperstimulation and they had you know, severe uh, problems as a result. Dr. Morris has performed four IVMs so far, two successes. But each patient saved money. IVM is about four to five thousand dollars less than IVF. The hormones that we don't give to the woman, we're going to add some of those hormones to the culture media to help the eggs to mature. I was pretty thrilled at the idea of having less medicines to have to take. They retrieved ten eggs and we were ended up with two embryos that they were able to transfer. And we have one that is Still there, successful, 16 weeks later. Patients do have to take hormones for several weeks after the initial egg retrieval to help support a possible pregnancy. IVM is not for everyone. Older patients or women with compromised ovary function who don't respond well to fertility medications are not good candidates. On the Medical Watch, Dina Baer, WGN News. I'm thinking this.